And we start off with boys volleyball, who after a commanding victory over Brookline on Wednesday, look to control the offensive tone once again as they face their next opponent, the Weymouth Wildcats. And to the first set we go, Weymouth stays in stride with the Raiders early on and momentarily take the lead 5-4. Wellesley's Ben Cohen though responds with a resounding kill that ties it up at 5. And his offense helps spark a commanding 14-6 run that gives the Raiders a big lead 19-11. Wellesley would then take the first set by the score of 25 to 16. Midway through the second match, Raiders quickly out in front 7 to 1 after this kill by George Ebbs that keeps momentum going Wellesley's way. Later, Ian Kinney's kill here would make it 13 to 4 Raiders. Points would come easy in this one as Raiders take the second set 25 to 8. Knowing a possible Wellesley sweep could be just around the corner, the Wildcats answer here in the third set and jump out to a 3-1 lead. Later on, now down by 2 and 15-13, Lima still has a chance here to take this match. But the Raiders' offense responds once again, and now leading 20-16, the Wildcats are forced to take a timeout. Though Weymouth is able to keep the deficit closer in this one, it's still just not enough, and the Raiders come away with yet another sweep. By the score of 25-16, 25-8, 25-18. And after a few weather-related setbacks, the Raiders baseball home opener finally gets underway on Monday in a Bay State Conference matchup with the Brookline Warriors. In the top of the first, Brookline leading one to nothing with two outs in the inning. Tyler Pettison laces it up the middle, scoring the runner at third. And the Warriors have an early two-run lead. Bottom of first, so Raiders now with their turn with two outs and runners on. Jack Porter drives the ball deep to center, driving in a run. Bottom of the second, Raiders are able to do some damage here as Ross Brannigan starts it off with a bomb that bounces just shy of the left field fence. Now it's second and third and only one out. Brookline starting pitcher Jonas Webb's first wild pitch scores Davis Wall from third and tying it at two. Minutes later, Webler again, this time on ball four, throwing wildly. It gets by the catcher, scoring Brannigan. Wellesley takes the lead here, 3-2. to two. Highlight of the game comes here, still in the bottom second. Now with two outs and a runner on third, Jack Dolan attempts to steal home, and he's safe. The risky call by Coach Kane works perfectly for the Raiders. Jack Porter's RBI single adds another run, and after two, Wellesley leads 5-2. to two. After allowing two first inning runs, Connor Russell is solid for the Raiders through five innings, surrendering no walks. After a couple one, two, three innings, Russell even helps out here defensively as well as the Raiders build their lead eight to three. Top of the six, new pitcher here for Wellesley is Cameron Garfield, who is welcomed right away by right fielder Irvin Kintarczyk, whose solo shot to deep left cuts it eight to four, Raiders. No worries though as defensively the Warriors dig themselves further into a hole here in the bottom seven. With two outs, Peter Stadnick pops out for what should end the inning, but third baseman Jack Levine drops it and Cosmo Ferrante jumps on that mistake with a two-run double. Warriors now down 10-4. Due to a late start and impending darkness, after eight and a half is played at Sprague, the game will be called. And the Raiders look sharp in this one as they win their home opener easily over the Brookline Warriors to the final score of 11-5. Wellesley will host Dedham on Wednesday as Nier Liebenthal takes the mound. And on Tuesday we head back to Sprague where the girls lacrosse team would face their tough rivals, the Needham Rockets. Coming off a road win at Dedham, the Raiders look to get back to 500 with a win. And in the first half, both teams executed well, and the Raiders are the ones to score first early on as Kylie Noonan's penalty shot puts Wellesley up one to nothing. But Needham races down the field, and after an ill-advised pass by goalie Carly Boyle creates a turnover and a Raiders penalty, the Rockets' Elizabeth Larkin dishes it outside the crease to Catherine Conley for the easy score, who are tied up at one. The Rockets take the lead on this play here when Sarah Conley sees Audrey Walsh cut free Walsh places it perfectly in the corner. Two to one, Rockets. After a Sarah Conley goal puts Needham up three to one, 
Wellesley quickly responds as Corinna Garfield with a great assist here sees Sophie Vernon cut open in the crease. Past two Needham defenders drives the ball into the net and it's a 3-2 ball game. Rockets add yet another score by Audrey Walsh when we go into the half. Raiders only down 4-2. In the first few minutes of the second frame, the game remains close as Catherine Conley and Ashton Krusikas trade respective goals, and it's 5-3 Needham. Still early in the second, with the score now 6-3, Caitlin Mahoney's one-timer misses, but Sophie Vernon scoops up the loose rebound and makes it 6-4 Rockets. But the rest of the half would be a completely different story as the Rockets pick apart Wellesley's defense, led by the Conley sisters Catherine and Sarah and Audrey Walsh, scoring five more times and pull away with a commanding 11-4 victory over the Raiders. Wellesley drops to 1-3, and, and they look to bounce back on Friday as they face their next challenge on the road at Walpole. For this week's Raiders Sports Report, I'm Rebecca Karen.